Media Center Santiago from Tilak Bharti School. Today we are going to start our unit kinematics. So let us have a little introduction of it. So first we will understand what is mechanics. mechanics the branch of physics which deals with the study of motion of material objects is called mechanics it has uh, basically two or you can say it has three uh, branches first one is the statics Statics. It is a branch of mechanics which deals with the study of material objects at rest. Next one is the kinematics. It is that branch which deals with the study of motion of material objects without taking into account the factors which causes motion. That means we will be only focusing on the motion of the objects and not on the causes of that motion. And the last one is the dynamics. It is that branch of mechanics which deals with the study of motion of objects taking into account the factors which cause motion. Let us have some more basic topics. So uh, there are two states of an object one is the rest and another one is the motion for the detail of rest and motion you can see the video of class 9th physics there you will get uh, some basics of this if you have forgotten it if you know you can uh, continue this video Next is the types of motion of a body. Types of motion of a body. Here we have a long list. First is the rectilinear or which we call it translatory rectilinear or translatory motion in which uh, uh, rectilinear is that motion in which a particle or point mass body is moving along a straight line and translatory motion is that motion in which a body which is not a point mass body is moving such that all its constitution constituent particles move simultaneously along parallel straight line and uh, shift through equal distance in a given interval of time second one is the circular or rotatory motion circular motion is that motion in which a particle or a point mass body is moving on a circle and uh, rotatory motion is that motion in which a body which is not point mass body is moving such that all its constituent particles moving simultaneously along concentric circles those centers lies on a line called axis of rotation and shift to equal angle in a given time Next is the third one is the oscillatory 
oscillatory or vibratory motion oscillatory or the vibratory motion oscillatory motion is that motion in which a body moves to and fro to and fro or back and forth repeatedly about a fixed point called mean position in a definite interval of time and and if in oscillatory motion the amplitude is very small it is said to be a vibratory motion next is the point mass object point mass object uh, it is it is similar to the point object which we have discussed in class 9th uh, you can have a live example of this Antonio our little friend which is very small in size and the distance it covers in an hour is much greater than its own size then it can be uh, it can be said to be as a point mass object even the train can be a point mass object if, since it covers a long distance Next, we will discuss frame of reference. Frame of reference or it is the position of the observer. It is just a coordinate system along with a clock constitutes a frame of reference. There are two types. One is the inertial and the second one is non-inertial frame of reference. Uh, on the basis of dimensions there are uh, three types. One dimensional motion, two dimensional motion and three dimensional motion one dimensional motion the motion of an object is said uh, to be one dimensional motion if only one out of the three coordinates specifying the position of the object changes with respect to time and this be the position then if it have changed this will be its dimension two dimensional motion the motion of an object is said to be two dimensional motion if two out of three coordinates specifying the position of the object changes with respect to time like this the motion of an object is said to be three dimensional motion if all the three coordinates specifying the position of the object changes with respect to time like this uh, that's all for today. We will be discussing motion in a straight line in the next class. Keep learning, keep growing. Have a nice day.